Hi, everybody. Brad Parks. I, for the last nine years, have been the chief product and go-to-market officer for Morpheus Data. But late in 2024, HPE acquired our company, and now we are infusing the Morpheus technology throughout the HPE hybrid and private cloud portfolio. I want to talk a little bit about some of the observations that I've seen in market over the last nine years and even more over the last seven, eight months since we've been part of HPE. And we know that everybody is hybrid. Hybrid cloud is an inevitability as much as a strategy at this point. You've got workloads scattered between VMware environments, KVM environments, Nutanix, Microsoft, public clouds. The world is hybrid. That is one of the macro trends that we see out there. But also one of the other biggies is AI. You can't get away from a vendor talk without seeing a little bit about AI. And we see this being one of the big reasons people are driving more and more on premises, because that's where your data is for the most part. If you're going to take advantage of the game changing revolution that's happening in AI, a lot of that work is happening on premises. So how do you deal with an increasingly diverse set of workloads in your hybrid environment? take advantage of AI alongside a lot of the headwinds that we have seen in talking with CIOs over the last seven, eight months. Whether that's the cost of virtualization due to changing license models and changes in the vendor landscape, as well as skill shortages. As things are getting more diverse, more and more work is getting piled onto the same team and you have to be able to deal with all that. So that's the domain that we're living in. Now, when we think about cloud and cloud computing, a number of years ago, NIST, the federal government agency, defined what makes a cloud a cloud. And a cloud has five key attributes. It's elastic, it's meter-based, so you only pay for what you use. It's on some sort of shared infrastructure, and that's where virtualization comes in as one of those enablers. It's addressable over a network. One of the biggest key things that drove the growth of public cloud was the fifth attribute. And that was the ability for an end user to go directly into a portal or an API or a Terraform provider, ask for what they want, a VM, a container, a database, and get what they want right away. That cloud experience is very hard to replicate on premises. Why? Because in the public cloud, folks like AWS have a fully proprietary tech stack. They own all of the pieces, right? They can automate it all, eliminate all the handoffs, put it behind a portal. They've got that nailed. But if you look on premises, right? If you just need to stand up a database, let's say a, a three node clustered database. Well, that's going to mean somebody has to request that. And usually that means they fill out some sort of spreadsheet or ServiceNow portal request. That thing's going to need an IP address, maybe a VIP behind a load balancer. You're going to need to check with the IT team to make sure there's space on a cluster, clone a VM, maybe run some automation like an Ansible script. You need to forward logs to something like a Splunk maybe, set up an observability agent, a security agent. It's going to need a backup job, going to need a network, on and on and on. This is why once somebody asks for a database or an application, in an internal IT environment, in a big enterprise, this can take hours or days and sometimes weeks to fully run through that ringer. That problem is what Morpheus Data was born to solve. First and foremost, the use case that we aim to solve for is the ability to integrate all of that heterogeneous IT, integrate all the tools that you already have, and then model the applications that your business uses behind a catalog. Service catalog, but it could also be addressable over an API. It could be a ServiceNow catalog item. Uh, could be through a Terraform provider. But we want you to be able to hit a button and get that same three node database deployed in minutes, not hours or days or weeks. We also want you to be able to do that in a consistent way independent of cloud. So if you're using some combination of on-premises bare metal hypervisors like VMware or Hyper-V or Nutanix or our built-in KVM stack or the public cloud, you should be able to use the same kind of processes, patterns, and skill set. That helps you, helps you move faster. 
and reduces some of the skill set challenges. So deploying workloads is our primary use case. But Morpheus also includes a cluster management engine to actually deploy the runtimes that those workloads live on. So we have a built-in KVM stack, something we call HVM. That is our KVM stack to run workloads. You can replatform workloads from other hypervisors to this built-in hypervisor. Reduce your licensing costs sometimes as much as 90%. We also include a built-in Kubernetes engine, our own CNCF certified Kubernetes distribution. So if you're using third-party hypervisors or clouds, or, on, or you want to use a built-in runtime from HPE, we've got you covered. Lastly, we help you attach meaning and cost to all those activities. This means you can set up your on-premises utilization as well as your public clouds and have a normalized data model of every activity, what it costs. If you need to do chargeback and showback or shameback, Morpheus helps you get there. You can treat on-premises just like the public cloud and get 100% of visibility and observability around all those activities and attach costs to those. Now, Morpheus Data, the company that HPE acquired, had all of these capabilities. One of the first things that we did as part of HPE was take, take a look at customer needs. And we saw an opportunity for HPE to help a lot of customers who are facing challenges around their relationship with their traditional hypervisor vendor. Right? A lot of companies were looking at moving some of their workloads to a lower cost hypervisor. So we released HPE Morpheus VM Essentials. Now the Morpheus software family inside HPE has two members. Morpheus VM Essentials, you can think of as the entry to the Morpheus family. It includes a subset of the full Morpheus feature set designed around a virtual use case. If you're looking to do basic VM vending and you want to connect VM essentials to your VMware environment, we can attach to your vCenter, to your ESXi clusters, provide manageability to those brownfield environments, let you easily provision new VMs, but VM Essentials also includes the HVM KVM based hypervisor from HPE. So if you need to replatform some of those workloads from VMware and you say, hey, these could benefit from a lower cost point, we want to run those on KVM. VM Essentials and our KVM stack includes capabilities like host to host mobility, storage to storage mobility, high availability, integrated snapshots and backup. GPU and hardware pass through. Our KVM stack is a fully production ready, robust alternative for you to land some of your workloads through a mix of VMware and KVM. That's VM Essentials. But if you decide you need to upgrade to the full enterprise set from Morpheus, you get access to things like infrastructure as code, application blueprinting, governance and policy guardrails as well as a robust set of integrations into other hypervisors, not just VMware and KVM, but Nutanix, Microsoft, Oracle, and all of the public clouds. So that's the Morpheus software suite at a glance. But one of the things I've been most excited about as we've come in and become part of HPE is taking that software and infusing it throughout the HPE portfolio. So today, HPE's private cloud business edition which comes in two flavors, one based on the Electra MP storage array, one based on the SimpliVity software-defined storage stack. Private Cloud Business Edition, you can think of as VM Essentials in a box. If you want to VM Essentials in a rack out of the HPE factory with easy lifecycle management, that's what Private Cloud Business Edition is. It lets you get up and running very, very quickly in a virtualized use case. But you can also upgrade from the VM Essentials that's part of Private Cloud Business Edition to the rest of the full Morpheus feature set. We also have HPE Private Cloud Enterprise. You can think of this as the full Morpheus Enterprise software stack bundled in hardware with full lifecycle management and management from HPE 
HPE is going to white glove and help you take advantage of the full Morpheus capabilities for VMs, bare metal, containers, and even public cloud. So today, we have the same operating system, the same software stack throughout the portfolio from simple software for virtualization, enterprise software for hybrid cloud, or a full suite of HPE private cloud offerings with Morpheus data technology threaded throughout. So whatever your problem, we've got a composable set of capabilities. We'd love to talk to you, help you solve those challenges, focus on getting to a cloud operating model with Morpheus and HPE together.